So why don't we get up on here and go this way? Oh, shit. <laughs> we fell anyway. Here, take one of those guys. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on Alpha 21. This is the Apocalypse Ranger series, and I'm a guy gaming. And in this episode, we are going to go uh, sell the rest of our stuff. So I have my inventory loaded up once again uh, with the rest of the stuff that we couldn't sell yesterday. Um, and I also added uh, some excess medical uh, stuff, you know, like testosterone, steroids, pain pills. I just I have tons of extra that stuff, and, and you can't use those uh, for anything uh, else. Well, you, you can use these to make steroids and c cigars but i don't need a cigar to got one and i don't need steroids because i already have too many of those so i'm, I'm just going to sell these as well as you know some extra engines and batteries and you know full stacks of, of parts and and whatnot uh, so we'll make a nice little uh, additional chunk of change to sell this stuff and then once we're done with that we are going to go um do our next tier six a job at the red mesa compound so that is going to be crazy and should be a lot of fun too um so let's uh, before we get started with all that though let me just show you a couple things that i've done here around the base so as you can see i have um removed the original uh walls around the base i did decide to leave um that little wall there uh, because i thought it looked good it kind of it basically looks like a retaining wall for you know this uh higher ground and so I decided to leave that in place because it, it kind of fits. Uh, but everything that was all along through here, that old corrugated metal fence and all that stuff, I've completely torn out. Um, and I also removed the garden. I dug up the garden and replaced it with uh, topsoil dirt and uh, removed the chain link fence that was, that was around here. And I took and put the garden over here uh, So I because uh, I wanted to move it closer to, to the kitchen. And uh, that was the main reason for putting it over on this side. Um, and then I also uh, created a doorway into the kitchen here so we can quickly get to the garden. That's done. And then I went around and I removed all of the rest of the boarded up windows and repaired the, the glass on the windows. And went around with a paintbrush and painted uh, the place um, so that it all looks really nice and neat. So yeah, we've made really good progress here uh, on the base. Okay, so let's um, let's go ahead and jump in to our vehicle here, and we're gonna head over to Trader Hugh, and then what I'm gonna do um, after we vi revisit Hugh is we're gonna actually go see Trader Joel and Trader Bob because um, our job is way to the south of us. So if we go here and we uh, Mar uh, yeah, toggle that is active, but show on the map. It's way, way down south. Um, this this here was our original town that we started the series in, um, and it's even further south than that, as you can see. Um, so that is the plan. So what I'm going to do, guys, is meet you at Trader Hughes, and we'll sell the rest of the stuff and see how much more money we can make. Then we'll stop off at Joel's and then stop off at Bob's to sell whatever remains. And I also want to see what they have in their inventory because uh, we have enough money now to where we can just outright purchase uh, like a chopper, for example, or maybe even a better ground vehicle. You know, I'm not super impressed with this hum this Humvee. It's, uh, it has really terrible acceleration and it can't handle hills for shit. <laughs> um, its top end speed is okay. Um, it's, you know, about the only thing it's really good at is, is storage space, but I'm hoping that, you know, that we can, we can come across a better land vehicle with lots of storage that is going to perform better than this vehicle does. Uh, but it's what we have for now. So we'll just kind of see, you know, how that goes. All right. Anyway, enough jibber jabber and I'll see you guys over at Hughes. I'm not sure if Trader Hugh has reset from, uh, uh, the last time we were here, which I think no was a couple of days ago. Here don't um, be peeing on my floor. Okay, I won't pee on your floor. Um, if he has, then that means we can resell him another batch of machetes and batteries and that sort of thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, pop the sugar butts first. Pumpkin cheesecake next. And then finally the awesome sauce in the order of their duration. 
Okay, let's go into your inventory. And starting with this sniper rifle, we will sell this stuff to him. So let's see what we can do here. Okay, so I think that is everything. And so we made 71,000 uh, coin uh, from that, which isn't too bad. Let's take a quick look at his inventory and see if he has anything we might be interested in. Um, I wouldn't mind explosive magazines. Be on your way. Let me look at that real quick cuz I don't uh, do we can we make yeah, see, we can't make the rocket ammo yet. Um, we need three more uh, magazines to do that because I have that really nice rocket launcher, but I want to be able to make the ammo because it's pretty expensive to buy. Um, so let's go back to here, and we will purchase uh, those two, and then we just need one more after that. All right, guys, I'm back. I had to take a phone call. Sorry about that. Uh, what were we talking about? We were going to... Um, we had just purchased, yeah, we just, had just purchased the explosive magazines. And we're just looking, you know what, I want one more of these two. So I can set up a four, or a sixth, rather. Uh, yeah, right, six? We have five right now, yeah. Uh, do collectors, and that should be plenty of do collectors for the rest of this playthrough. I don't think we'll need any more than that. And just look and see what else you might have here that we could potentially be interested in. I think the rest of this is the stuff I sold to him. Time to move on. Okay, so let's read those, and we're one magazine, explosive magazine away from being able to make our own uh, rocket ammunition. Okay, I'm going to run over to Trader Wrecked and then up to Trader Gen, see if we can sell the rest of this stuff, and also see what they have for sale. So I'll see you guys there. Okay, we have like 12 seconds left Time on our, is money. Is money. On our who's what was it? Have any. So let's sell them this, 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 that. Those, this, those, that, this, and that's about it. Okay. That's about it for our awesome sauce. That's what I meant by that. And I should have sold them that, but that's okay. I mean, it's kind of getting down to where it doesn't matter a whole lot now. And he'll take those two. And so that brings us up to 88,000 coin. Very nice. Okay, let's see what he has for sale. Wasteland Treasures Volume 7. Harvesting more lead and brass from sinks and plumbing. What is the... the sale is a sale. What do we get from that... Into like that you. book. Wasteland Treasures. Right here. Harvest military fibers. All right. I I just don't find that very, very useful. You know, you need military fibers to make a nice set of military armor. And then after that, what do you need them for? You know, so I'm not too concerned about that, to be honest with you. If I really would like to find the book that allows us to make the mineral water, though, that would be fantastic. Um, Let's continue looking to see if he has anything else we could potentially be interested in. I don't care about big hitters. Uh, or the wiring business. Okay. Yep, so he doesn't really have anything else. Well, how about you browse your All that fantastic either. Okay, let's run up to... Where did I park? Let's run up to Jen's place and just check her inventory. You're looking kind of rough. You didn't get bit, did you? Okay, let's um continue selling to her. Making sure we're selling the more valuable things first, and then after that, it kind of doesn't matter. Doesn't want any more of those. Okay, so she doesn't want any more of those either. Okay, let's see what she has for sale. Um, she has the drone medical mod schematic. We're going to buy that because that's the most useful thing on that drone, I think.
duster accessories. That's for the fixed wing aircraft. Okay, nah, I'm not so interested in that. Okay, that's all she has. Well, you just brightened my day. I'm glad I could help you. Oh, did we try and sell these pills to her? No, we didn't. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, that brings us up to ninety-five thousand and forty-two coin. Stay safe out there. Um, I do want to buy one more of these just so we have one on hand. And we're doing good. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the base. I'm going to get geared up for our tier six quest. Is this? Looks like I've already looted that. Okay. And then I'm going to head over to Trader Joel in the desert and then Trader Bob to see what they have for sale. If they don't have anything noteworthy, I'll probably just meet you at the Red Mesa compound and we will go from there. If they do, of course, I'll bring you back before then. And um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. All right, guys, we are here at the Red Mesa compound way down uh, south here on the map. Uh, I did stop at Trader Joel. He didn't have anything uh, special. Uh, and also Trader Bob. Now, Trader Bob does have a BRD, one of those uh, amphibious reconnaissance military vehicle thingamadoodles. Um, it's, the normal price on it is over 70 grand. But, of course, uh, if we did decide to buy it, we would take um, the learning lecture and all that kind of stuff, which I actually brought with me, but I didn't. I, I stupidly didn't bring any money with me. So if we, did, if we do go get it, I'm going to have to go back. You get that later, so we might as well put this stuff back in here. We don't need to take it with us. Um, I did buy from one of those two traders. I don't remember these three things. So we have um, three more vehicle books, which gets us 94 out of 100 to vehicles. And this robotic drone armor plating mod schematic. Okay, so we got that stuff done. And what I need to start doing is bringing the drone with me again and loading it up with first aid kits so it can help you know heal us when when we get hurt that's really the main use that we're going to have from it uh okay so anyway we have a red mates compound here now i haven't um i haven't done this since it's been changed uh very familiar with how you know how the old version of it uh, but the new version is going to be going to be different and uh should be pretty interesting look at that vulture sitting up there now, one thing we could do is there is a metric button of landmines in here, which we, we could pick up. Now, I actually have the air filter landmines, which are stronger uh, than these guys. So these guys do 450 damage. These guys do to another 240 on top of that. So they're approximately 30% you know, better in terms of damage. Uh, but I'm not sure if there's a place, a POI in the game that actually has air filter landmines on the ground. There might be, but I, if there is, I'm not sure what it is. But we could, what we could do is we could go around and just pick all of these up. And then if I wanted to, which I'm not sure I will, there's so many of them, you know, uh, start the start the quest and then it'll all reset. And um, so I think I'll do that because why the hell not, right? And we don't have to worry about stepping on them ourselves because we got the, you know, the step on the landmine thingy that we read. So I think I will. I think I'll go around and pick all of these up and get a big stack of them. And I guess that's damaged somehow. And then um, if I decide to pick them up again after we start, then I'll do that uh, probably off camera. So let me get these all picked up first and I'll show you how many we get. Okay, that took a little while, uh, but look <laughs> look how many of these uh, landmines that we picked up. My goodness, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times 20 is 200 minus 397 um, hubcap landmines. Each one of these sells for 788 coin, too, so um, that's pretty good. I'm going to put all but one stack of these in here. Uh, cause we'll probably just use the air filter landmines, but in case we run out, you know, we have these as, as a backup. Get out of here, Edgar. Um, so yeah, 
And then, like I said, you know, once we start the quest, we, we can go through later and, and pick those all up again if we want to. Oh, look at that. Let's see what's in here. Uh, I'm actually very, very low. In fact, I'm, I'm, for all intents and purposes, completely out of... Oh, nice. Okay. So that got us our rocket parts. So now we can make actually make rocket parts. Um, completely out of cloth at the base. So so we're actually going to be um, prioritizing uh, getting cloth. Okay, cool. So let's get this party started, man. Um, I guess we could run in real quick and do... Uh, no, you know what? This is going to take a long time to get through. So let's just get started. <laughs> I'm just going to do a little bit of double looting, but I don't think I will. Okay, that's not an irradiated cop. Could still be a feral, though. Or not. <clears throat> okay, so that takes care of him. All right, let's do this. Look at that, man. All the landmines are back, so we can get another almost 200 of those suckers if we wanted to. We'll see. We'll see how much space we have, you know, by the time this is all said and done. All right. Look at all those red dots. I could blow those things up and eliminate several of them right off the bat. Um, why don't we see, though, if we can get some sneaky sneaks in? Oh, let's actually deal with this vulture first. <clears throat> I'm going to get back a little ways so I don't so I can use this without waking everybody up. Okay, that takes care of them. Now, let's just see what we might be able to, to do in the way of pre-sniping a couple of these guys. There's a dog. Um, the other thing we could do, too, is we could just wake them all up and then run them right into the land minefield. Or the minefield. So that would be another potential way to deal with them. That's a really tight headshot. Yeah. Oh. Okay, let's deal with these guys. He did. He did. Um. Yeah, let's see if we can come around here and get his head. Ooh, well, we don't have an opening there, do we? Okay, what we'll do instead then is we'll get in here a little little more okay that takes care of him all right it looks like that eliminates everybody in this tent. There's something behind here. Nope, nothing directly behind there anyway. Let's get our crossbow bolts back. Loot the gasoline in this truck. Tools. Mechanical tools, quality four. All right. Is this a lootable? Yes, it is. Pears. Are we hungry? Eh, we can eat those. Save the, the spot. Okay, there's a, a big red dot, like, right outside this door. Don't know where he is. Is he like right on the other side of here or is he up there? All right, we eliminated him. Okay, we got a guy coming up the ramp here. Let's lead him back away. To 
just so we don't wake up a whole bunch of other zombadoodles in the process. Uh, I heard a huge crash, but I don't see any of those red dots moving, so I don't know what the hell that was about. Oh, nice. 95 out of 100. Um, I'm not going to take any of that stuff. We just don't need it. We do want to be kind of uh, conservative on our inventory space, as usual. Okay, there's a Zeke right there. Let's go down here next. I just want to make sure we get everything cleared. Oh, I thought that was a, a vulture. Every, everything cleared in the outside area before we go down into the bunker itself. The dead buzzard there. Okay, so I still see two red dots really close to us. They could be up on top of there. I think that's just outside zombos. How did I not see that dog right there? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I didn't, though. Okay, let's go down here. I see a purse down that way. I'll take that. We don't need... And okay, that woke that dude up. I don't need uh, the other stuff because we got plenty of it. Oh, come on, guys. Just come around the track. Don't be dumb. Okay, more Zeke's up above or waking up. And then we got outside zombos, too, that we have to be cognizant of. see one more active zombie doodle are you right over here yeah you are eh, I don't care about that is there anything else in here nope yeah we said we didn't need any of that stuff oh that's one of the NPC guys okay all right let's grab this purse here And it looks like that's all there is down here for us to grab. Now, can we get... Let me get up here from here. Yeah. All right, let's just make sure there aren't any more zombadoodles up here. I'll take those two things. We're going to have to go down into that silo later, but I don't think that's the pathway we're supposed to follow. So let's follow the pathway. Very good. All right. I think we have everything out here taken care of. Uh, let's just drop a couple things off while we're still here and it's easy to get to.
think I'll bring that coin with me in case we run into a vending machine down below. Excellent. All right, let's get this party started. So in we go. There's a bag inside of there. Let's see if we can get to that. Tools. Okay, so that just goes down to here. Come on, give me that back. There's nothing there. Okay. Let's poke our head in here and see what's what. Oh, shit. Close that door. All right. Oh, they're out. they're through already. Damn it, Jim. I'm gonna try and put a landmine in front of the door. Get out of here. Get your balls out of my face. Infected, and we got an abrasion. There's one more to go. Where is he? Oh, he's stuck down there. Okay. Oh, hey, watch this. <laughs> Did that kill him? I think so. All right, we got a screamy. Got a couple of NPCs walking around out here. Sometimes it's hard to tell if it's them or, or zombies. Okay, so they'll help clear any other Zeeks out that uh, come along. All right, we have an infection, so let's take one of these herbals. All right, I'm going to assume that we cleared this room. Let's be on our guard just in case we haven't, though. All right, there's like another little tunnel in there. Let's hit this stuff for the cloth. Toolbox and a passing gas. A little water. Any machine doesn't do anything. I think this goes out to that ramp that we just we were just at. Toolbox. Okay, so I guess that clears this first room here. Ooh, look at that. There's his head. Okay. Let's preempt this guy. Oh, shit. All right. Now what we're going to do... See, they're going to come through there. They're probably going to come this way. That's a lot of zombos. Beautiful. Okay, we'll put one there. 
and fight whoever remains up here. Oh, shoot, only one came through. Okay, well, we only have four left, so we should be fine. There we go. Okay, that went pretty good. And we got another bag, too. Okay, we'll take all that stuff. Here's an armor thingy and an ammo thingy. Looks like that's all that's in here. Why don't we drink this? all that stuff all right there's something over that way let's go see what's over here first before we go through that door lots of fuel barrels in here Couple of boxes in there, but how much you want to bet as soon as I open this, we're going to get rushed. All right, well, let's just do it and see what happens. Oh, yep, I told you. Okay. Oh, we got to love those landmines. There was a room in the Poppin' Pills factory that was exactly the same scenario. Scenario, You opened it up and then it spawned a bunch of monsters. So that didn't surprise me in the least. Okay, so we have a couple more power electronics. With some books, or magazines rather. We can now do quality five batteries. Guess that's it for in here. On to the next place. All these elbows in that closet, maybe. Oh, that's where we were earlier when we were looking down. Door's locked. Just him? Looks that way. Okay, so those valves are not anything we can do anything with, so let's head up these stairs here. That door's locked, but this leads us into the silo. That's a corpse there. Okay, so we're at the very top of the silos, so I think what we... Uh, well, it wants us to go in here. Okay. Oh, shit! I was just getting ready to uh, harvest this stuff for the paper. So there's just two Zeeks. All right. We can handle two Zeeks.
ammo pile. Okay, I guess this is a dead end room. So it wants us to go down this way. I think that's a room we just came through. Oh, okay. Um, is there a Zombo back behind here? There certainly is. Let's get rid of him. This is probably going to collapse, and if I try and jump it, I'm going to hit my head on there and fall. I'll bet you. So why don't we get up on here and go this way? Oh, shit. <laughs> we fell anyway. Here, take one of those guys. Okay. Well, that worked. Um, did we... Did we miss anything on the way down? There's another kind of dead end. Yeah, that door's locked. Doesn't look like we can get through over there. Yeah, this is where we were, because that's where I shot that guy from across the way. So it looks like that's all we missed. Okay, so we're good. Let's just go back down here. There's a purse up here. Surprise, surprise, lockpick. Okay, that's just some cloth. Plastic. That door's locked. Anything inside of here? No, that looks hollow. All right, I think uh, I think we're ready to proceed. Make sure everybody's loaded here. I'm going to uh, replenish that as well. Ooh, look at all the red dots. Okay. That's a crawler. Ooh. Nasty. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Wake up, little Susie. Oh, he missed it. <laughs> oh, shit. I got the attention of a bunch of Zeeks up that way. Uh. Okay, let's go... Let's leave that landmine there. Here they come. Nice.
Okay, we still have two more. One more that looks to be stuck. Because his arms... Hmm, I thought I heard something. Yeah, he's stuck. Okay. Okay, well, that went pretty good. Could have been worse. All right, you know what I think I want to do? In case we need to make a hasty retreat, I don't want all that shit in the way. Crap, already? Yep, here they come. She missed the landmine. He didn't. Yeah, I can really tell that these air filter landmines are more powerful, you know, than the hubcaps, just because they soften them up a lot better. I don't think I finished loading that before I accidentally switched it. Okay, so did they set both of those off? I think so. Yeah. Okay, well, that took care of the, the very first trigger of Zeke's anyways. There's a bunch more off that direction. That door's locked. There's something behind here. What is that, a filing cabinet or something? Oh, it's a bookcase. Oh, that's... Okay, that's that room just across the way there. Right, okay. Get the plastic from that stuff, I suppose. Um, you know, I think what I'm going to do, guys, is take a moment and grab all of these beds because we'll get both cloth and springs from them. And I need both. So let's just do this really quick. Okay, so it looks like we're supposed to go that way, but it, there was another direction the other way. So let, here, let's, we'll come back this way. It looked like this also went around a different direction. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, there's a thingy over that way. Let's check this box out. You know, that's a decent amount of paper. I think we're going to take it. And we have a duffel bag back here. Okay, what's up here? Hmm, that's a dead end. Got 
got an ammo pile though. Anything up here? Oh yeah. Weapons bag. Nice. That's good stuff. Oh, look at that. All kinds of hidden stuff in here, man. There's a trash bag in that thing there. I don't think I can jump over there without bonking my head and falling down. Did I not bring any frames with me? I don't think I did. Well, let's make a couple. We're meant to get to that from the other side. I'm not going to break 10,000 hit points. Screw that. That doesn't do anything. Okay, so what do we got going on over here? Okay, that's that room there. Okay, let's get ready for another rush. Oh, that just leads into the silo, the silo room again. Right, okay. Okay, let's go back this way then and we'll proceed. I'm not sure how we're supposed to get to that trash, but I don't care. It's probably not. That big of a deal anyways. So that was almost kind of like a little hidden area. That was kind of neat. Because it's it's off the beaten path. You know, it's not the main... Oh, shit. Uh, the main way to go there. I wonder if some of them will come out that door. You know what? Let's actually save this landmine. There's not enough of them here to worry about. Drop some bags for us, though. Oh, wow. Look at that. Nice. Okay, we still have one more red dot. Okay, that takes care of that. Let's grab this cloth. We didn't get our acid, but what we can do is make one of these. isn't lootable. Yeah, let's check these book shelves. Nothing behind there. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing in here. We'll just quickly salvage all this stuff. I think we're ready to move on here. Oops. 
for somebody right there. Anybody else we can s snipe a doodle? Uh, there's someone right here. And some dudes in here, too. Okay, two more Zeeks over in this room. She did. Take the cloth. Um, are these better than what we have? They are not. Well, they have better stamina, mobility, and noise increase, but quite a bit less armor. Oh, right. We're wearing heavy armor. I forgot. We're wearing heavy armor. We're not actually even wearing light armor. Uh, but we'll take them uh, anyways and see and compare them to the light armor boots that we currently have. And, of course, if they're not as good, then we will exchange them. We're a bit on the hungry side. Is there anything we can eat that's not a recipe item? That's a recipe item. We want to save those. Um, so let's throw back a spaghetti. And I think I'll throw back this golden rod to save ourselves a space. Honestly, don't care about the hop seed or the aloe seed, so we can get rid of those. Let's get rid of that stuff. Um, Let's see, what else? We want to keep the cloth, of course. We don't need one electrical thingy. Don't really need those pipes, but that's a lot of pipes to throw away, so I don't think I want to throw those away. I mean, we, you know, we've got tons of room up in our vehicle. We'll just have to get back up to it at some point. Okay, let's proceed here. A potato. Potato. Take all that stuff, too. All right. I'm liking this place, man. This is cool. It, it, might, it might be fun to even have this place as a base, you know? Maybe we could even do, like, a, a season two of Apocalypse Ranger where... Captain OG's directive is to take the uh, take back the Red Mesa compound and, and secure it, you know, for Alpha Six and, and the gang to come on in and take over kind of kind of idea, just for funsies. All right, so are we supposed to go up here or down there? Let's go down here first. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so I see a couple of red dots in there. That door's not open. Um, These guys are going to be kind of hard to get to. Well, he's easy to get to. All right. Let's see if we can pop up here. All right, that wasn't so bad. Okay, before we go through there, we have some more sniping opportunities here. Can't get a headshot off on that thing, but... Oh, wow, look at the red dots. I don't know why I keep saying, oh, wow, look at the red dots. We're in a tier six infested, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to always be a whole shit ton of red dots. We just got to get used to it. We just got to get used to it. Okay, so we can't go through here. Um, Before we proceed through that little cubbyhole place, I just want to see what's up on the top here. Let's try that again. Huh? 
Yeah, there's a weapons bag. And some food. And some medical. Uh, that's where we that's where we started from, right? Where we came through. Yeah, I think so. Okay. All oh, right. I remember looking through here when we first came here. Okay. Yeah. We woke somebody up from on the floor down below. Yeah, we woke him up. All right. Let's forget about him and let's move through here now because this is the way we're supposed to actually go. Oh, look at that. We got a flame thingy. Ooh, shit. Well, we've woken a bunch of them up now. Are they all going to come through this way? Oh, they're over there. Alright, let's mow them down. Okay. That went reasonably well. So the only one left is this guy. Ooh. Somebody hit some landmines. Let's just poke enough of a hole through here so we can kill him. All right, let's try this again. Up there. Nothing. Okay. I presume this switch uh, turns that off. Oh shit! I was gonna say, you coming over here or what? I see your red dot. save both of those because those are used in recipes. Do those collapse? Uh-uh. Interesting. Only three? All right, let's take them out. Oh, he's stuck in the block. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, you got out. Okay. Oh, wow. Those guys are in water. What the hell? Oh, shit.
Wow. <laughs> that was intense. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Uh, don't see anything down here except for a bunch of concrete. Oh, wow. Look at this. So all these dudes were like in this water tank. That's crazy. I love this, you guys. This is so cool. This is so different than the typical seven days to die, uh, you know, POI. Having to go through the water like this. Oh, that is neat. Oh, we got more enemies out here. That didn't kill you, huh? You tough son of a bitch. Oh, shit! Ah, oh, we can't use this if we're submerged. Okay, let's go back this way. Oh, there's more zombies in here. Okay. Let's see if we can quietly dispatch this guy. Okay, he's dead. That's it. We got them all. Okay. The hell is that? I can't tell. It's something green. Like an irradiated zombie or something? Let's go in. Oh, it's one of those hydroponic thingies. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, this would be a fun place to have a base in. I feel I feel another season coming on, you guys. Ooh. Is there a bunch of zinks in here. No? That's all solid. Uh, there's even a mod, too, a 7 Days to Die mod, that allows you to use these little hydroponic things to grow crops. So that would like that would fit perfectly if we did it, if we did that. Okay. We got ourselves the, the kitchen, the supply room, maybe? Let's see what's in the shamway. Take all that. Don't care about that. Uh, don't care about that. That door locks. There's no door at all there. Uh, yeah, we could stand to eat. Let's do it. I'm not going to take one piece of meat. Let's go in here. You do not see any tracks. I don't see anybody out there that we can pre-snipe. We're going to hit a trigger zone any second here. You just watch. wonder if there's anything up there. Oh, shit. All right, here's what we're going to do. Let's put a couple of those there. Let's get rid of this. Well, how many? Well, you know what? That's not that's not that many. I mean, OK, 
Okay, let's let him break through there. And then we'll fight him up here. Well, there's only two left. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Where'd you guys go? Man, I'm loving these landmines, you guys. Okay, so that takes care of them. Nice. Working vending machine. Yellow football helmet. Is that that trash we were trying to get to earlier? I think it is because the um, the grate behind it's just slightly damaged when I started hitting on it. How about that? How about that? There's a a working stiffs right there. All right, we have a Zombo walking around somewhere. Another like little secret area. Uh, okay. Wait a minute, we were already in here. Yeah, this is where we fought the fire zombos. Oh, so a zombie just broke through from here. We're not we weren't actually supposed to go through that way. Yeah, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Um, you know what though? I've, we gotta kill that zombo. Is he down here? There we go. Okay. Because this is a clear quest after all. Here, let's go back this way. This is this. Oh, yeah. This is the same supply room from before. Just that. The door that I had closed. Okay, so the light's saying to go this way. But we were already in here. So I guess that means we go this way then. Yep, this is where we killed that zombie through the door. Okay. Why do I get the feeling like something bad's going to happen any second? This is the server room. That leads back into the silos. Hmm. Then we already... We must have already killed... The zombos that, that were in here. Well, not those zombos. Okay, let's come back up this way. That down there. Oh shit, they're coming from both directions. Not good. Can't really see what's going on because of the plant there. Um, let's go back this way. Okay, we'll get up here like we were originally were gonna do, and I need to put some more 
of these down here too. There's only two more? Okay. We must have dispatched the other ones with our our landmines. Hmm. Where's he at? There's one. You still not dead? Now you are. Okay. Now, where the hell is this other one at? It's almost like he's above us. Okay, this is the room that we triggered all them in. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where that guy is. That door's locked. So he's like, it's like he's back in this room now or something. There he is. Okay. All right, so where do we go now? We were in here. We go up these stairs, I think. Up and up and up and up. That looks back down into the 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 first room that we entered. I see glowing Zeke's in there. Um, okay. Couple opportunities for some preemptive strikes. Lots of red dots. Right. One more. Nice. Okay, that went pretty good. Well, 
ammo pile there. Okay. Up we go. Oh, you know what? We're we're up inside the um uh the 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 little um lookout tower thing where the vault is. So we're at the end. Nice. All right, so there's probably a metric shite ton of Zeke's inside of here. Um let's make sure before we go in there that the rest of this area is cleared. I think oh, no, it's not. Dang. Dang, man. Okay. Okay, so it looks like we killed everybody out here. Um, we need to wait for these bodies to clear so I can put some more landmines down. Come on, bodies. Get out of here. Okay. I'll put one there. And one right there. Put one here, and then we'll just let him come down the stairs from here. Let's get this guy loaded. Come on, guys, open the door. They're taking longer to open that door than I thought they would. We probably could have just shot them through the hole in the door, but I didn't think they were going to take this long to open it. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. Return to Trader. We did it. Fan freaking tastic. All right. Awesome. I really enjoyed this POI, you guys. This was fun. Super fun. Um, okay, so. Let's, um, make a little bit of room. I, there's no way I'm going to get all this stuff, though, in one spell swoop. So I think we'll do the usual. I'll open everything up so you guys can see what it is, and then I'll... I'll get it into our, um, vehicle later. Okay, so let's check the... Infested cash first. We got another bow magazine. Shotgun turret bundle, a food bundle, trigger group, some other stuff. I don't really care about the iron arrowheads. Munitions with just more ammo. Uh, all of that stuff there. That stuff there. That stuff there. Let's see what's in the shoddy messiah crate. Handgun magazine. Okay, we'll open up the main chest and then we'll do the safe. Wow, that's nice. Blade to trap bundle. Two tools in a spear hunter. 
And um, let's read that. Just looking to see if I had any of um breaching charges, but we'll, we'll just use the lockpicks. And there you go. Okay, so I will go um, get all this stuff loaded up into our vehicle, and then I will meet you guys back at Trader Rex for the turn-in. I don't, I don't think I'm going to bother picking up all those landmines. I mean, that's just we got so many; it's ridiculous. So yeah, I'll see you guys at Trader Rex. All right, guys, let's see what we get here. State your great. Spend it all in one um, okay, we'll take the Shamway recipe and the nail gun because of the money. Uh, no, let's, we don't need money. Let's take the crafting skill magazine. Oh, nice. So we are finished with tier six. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so let's take the military armor bonus bundle. And... I guess this means we get 100 steel blocks, right? I think so. Or 12,000 coin. Um, I don't care about the melee mods bundle. Let's go with... Let's go with the steel blocks, I guess. Wait, didn't I select that? Yeah, select that and... Uh, no, Let, let's take the, let's take the coin. Excellent. Okay, so we have finished tier six. That is amazing. Let's see, uh, let's read this. Let's open this. And we got two more vehicle magazines. We are 97 out of 100. Any chance this asshole's got to make <laughs> magazines for sale? Uh, let's take a look at the inventory. He does not. Yeah, I think this is the same inventory we, we looked at earlier. We don't care about Wasteland Treasure 7. Okay, so... You cheap son of a bitch. Hey, easy. All right, let's take a look at what jobs he has. So I wonder, when Tier 6 is done... Is that, that, is that just it? Tier 6 infested? Or is there such a thing as... No, I don't think there, there would be a Tier 7. I don't know. We'll have to come back and see what he's got tomorrow. Um, but there's still a couple more that we have not done, at least not in this series. So, yeah, we've done, we haven't done Higashi, Karen Higashi on... Infested, but we've done it on normal. I've got work. If you don't mind we've done county jail on normal, but not on infested. I want to do something we haven't done yet. We've done popping pills twice now. Okay. Um, we have not done Higashi Pharmaceutical. I think I did it in alpha 20 which is when they changed it but let's but we haven't done it of course in this series and of course we haven't done it infested can't say i'm not surprised but here's the thing if i come back here tomorrow and he's got what would be the equivalent of tier 7 which i don't think that exists but i'm not sure you know then we might change it up but otherwise yeah i, th I think we'll do we'll do higashi next i'm going to buy a couple of candies while i'm here but guys that is it for this episode um i really like i said i really enjoyed doing that uh you know what all of this is useful we're just gonna buy all of it because what the hell why not right and um let's buy one more of those too we got money to burn um yeah i really enjoyed that like thoroughly enjoyed that to the point where i'm gonna actually give some thought to maybe doing a series where Maybe it would even be like just a little, a mini series, a short series where we, um, you know, we take over Red Mesa 
and you know make it our base or something to that effect. Um, the thing is, is we we'd have to we'd have to try and take it over without being you know maxed out like we are now, which would be really challenging. And so maybe the the whole challenge would be just to see if we can do that, right? Without dying, or maybe we say you know we have we have like two or three chances. I don't know. I'll have to think about it, but. I really like that POI and I just thoroughly enjoyed that and I think it would be a cool idea to have the place you know as a base and or use it as the basis of a of a new potential series you know whether we can continue Apocalypse Ranger or we just do it you know without that role play involved I don't know I'm gonna give it some thought though and we'll just kind of see what happens but guys thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this episode I sure did <laughs> and um, if you did, uh, please uh, leave a like and the comment and all that good stuff, and we will catch you all in the very next episode. Bye-bye.